for this video, we're going to be talking about OneDrive sync errors and how to prevent them. So here is a library within my OneDrive and I've already created a very deep folder structure like you would see on a file share or network drive. Very deep. Lots of text, some illegal characters. See how deep the folder structure is. And then here's the view from my Finder, File Explorer. You can see how deep the structure is. So this is something you want to avoid. You don't want to use too many folders, depth. And here are some sync problems. Typically what you'll see is the red dot with the X. And the red dot with the X is because of poor network connections or the, the file name's too long, has illegal characters. Watch what happens when I try to rename the file. I've exceeded the 400 character limit. So you may look in your OneDrive or you're looking in your, in your SharePoint or OneDrive library and you see the red dots to the right of the file. It can't sync because you've exceeded the URL length or you have illegal characters. And OneDrive and SharePoint do not like non-alphanumeric characters. So to fix problems, Usually it's removing the characters and, and um, flattening the library. What I mean by that is removing the deep nested folder structures. Sometimes you can um, shorten the folder names, shorten the file name, remove the illegal characters, and that'll, that'll help. Um, OneDrive usually gives you an error message and it tells you where the offending file is, the path, and how many characters to, to lower it. So... I have another video on metadata and SharePoint and using columns for organizing data. Um, it helps you uh, move away from using nested folders. Please have a look at that. Just run a search and you'll see it on my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll include the links to the documents in the description. Thanks.